Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to worship. Pastor and Chris are away this week for their son's wedding. Uh, Noah and Vanessa are getting married, I think, next Friday. But uh, they're doing some things before that. So, um, a few announcements this morning. Uh, BBS, which is June 25th through 27th, Jungle Journey. There's sign up for food back in the kitchen area. Uh, Operation Christmas Child, of course, is going on, and there's a uh, place for the boxes to be donated out in the hallway. And, uh, uh oh. <laughs> uh, PLC Picnic and Potluck for the Resurrection. Half blessing on June 23rd will be coming up. So there are signs, sign ups for food for that back in the kitchen, also. Uh, we have a fifth Sunday service on June 30th. That's an 8, eight o'clock traditional service. That is a time change, and the past those have been at 8 30, but it's at 8 o'clock this time. But this time, I would like to speak about um, the church in Nepal. For 15 years, Pastor Mahesh Makaya has led a congregation of 70 Christians for worship and fellowship in a rented house in their village. In September 2023, Hindu extremists threatened the owner of the rented house demanding he cancel the rental agreement. After a second threat, the landlord agreed to evict the congregation. Pastor Mahesh searched for a new building in which the Christians could meet, but the extremists had issued warnings throughout the village. For now, the church is considering options, such as splitting into smaller, con smaller groups or renovating and reinforcing the pastor's house so the church can meet on the road. Let's pray for this church. Heavenly Father, we pray for the church in Nepal. Guide Pastor Mahesh in leading his congregation through this persecution. Give him comfort and keep him and his congregation safe in this persecution. Give him, give him your strength as your church moves forward in Nepal. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This time, please rise for the confession. <laughs> in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, and all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Bless the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, we confess that apart from Christ we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may direct your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for you, 
And for his sake, God forgives you all your sins. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become children of God and bestows on you his Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. At this time, please share a sign of peace with one another.
talking about he's my lighthouse, he's my cornerstone. Yes. He's the rock I'm standing on. Amen. Amen. Uh, Liberty Quartet, we are actually, we're in our 28th year now of ministry. <laughs> and uh, yes, our founding father is this gentleman right over here. <laughs> tell people that he's old, but, <laughs> but his older brother is actually here today, and he's back there in the back, and it's his birthday today. He's <laughs> my younger brother, not my older brother. Uh, well, you told me to say he was your older brother. <laughs> tell him the other stuff I told you to say. <laughs> But we are thrilled to be back with you together again, and uh, we have been here several times, and we yes. always enjoy our time yes. together with you. You see on the screen, uh, the theme of our tour for this year is strength. Um, we, we do serve a mighty God, and if there's anyone who came through the doors this morning, and maybe you're struggling uh, with strength today, maybe physical strength, maybe emotional strength or mental strength. Maybe you're just walking through it right now. Let me share a word of encouragement for you um, out of Isaiah chapter 40, starting with verse 28, where it says this, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. Amen. The creator of the heavens and the earth. That's right. He will not grow tired or weary. And his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary. And he increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary. And young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will rise up with wings as eagles. Yes. They will run and not grow weary. Yes. They will walk and, and not, not be faint. faint. Yes, amen. 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 I thank the Lord for the strength that he provides on a day-to-day -day basis. And our prayer this morning is that through a song, through a word of testimony, or maybe just through the word of God that I just spoke, um, that he will encourage you on your faith journey today. Um, and actually, you know, we've been here several times, but yeah. let me just say this. We've got a new member here with us this year. I'll introduce him real quick. This is Mr. Peyton Olive. Woo! He comes from Florida. Yeah. <laughs> ago and he actually uh, made it kind of unique for the group right now because we have five different decades represented. Nice. <laughs> we have someone in their 20s up here, someone's in their 30s, someone's in their 40s, someone's in their 50s, and someone's in their 60s. I'm not going to mention any names, but I introduced him earlier. He's our founding father. <laughs> he said you're old. <laughs> But Peyton, we are so glad to have him with us. He came, like I said, he came to us from Florida. We actually interviewed him in December, and he started in January. When we brought him out to interview, he had never been on a plane before. Oh my! Oh. And he he also had never seen snow before. <laughs> so uh, he got introduced to Idaho, and he got introduced to snow pretty quick. I'm sick of it. But I want him to sing a song for you this morning that will hopefully be an encouragement to you. It's actually one that our piano player, Mr. Doran Ritchie, wrote. Uh, the Lord just blessed him with this song. Um, it's just a reminder that God is in control and that you are his. He loves you this morning. Listen to his Peyton sing. I 
That's exactly the way I taught it to. <laughs> Here's another song about the Lord. Saints 
some that are just kind of like, don't have all that racket in the background yeah, yeah, with all those yeah, tracks. Yeah. I think we should break it down even further and do a cappella. Just your voices. I think we should do that. Because I think we're going to get another Danish off the bus. Go ahead, we'll do that, yeah. What do you think? Just do a, dig a little deeper. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, dig a little deeper. We normally do this at offering, but uh, we'll do this. <laughs>
the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This blood, this cup, is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in, for the remembrance of me. <coughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please come forward uh, for communion. Uh, all are welcome at his table. <coughs>
body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, strengthen you to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant you his peace. Amen. At this time, Liberty has their closing song. Amen. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen.